Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are back with a new MOC. They have just reset it, and I just started doing it. I got all the way to 10. Today, we're going to be doing 11 and 12, the two hardest stages. But today, we're doing it with a bit of a unique twist. Today, we're going to be banning three units who I believe make MOC too easy. We're banning Firefly, Acheron, Feijiao. Those three units, we cannot use them in today's MOC. We're going to have to try to get through it without them. Will it happen? Probably not because I rely on overpowered characters to do everything. But regardless, we're going to try our best. So without further ado, let's get in to today's MOC run. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed and really doesn't take that much time at all. All you got to do, go down, click a little button, and it helps me a ton. But anyways, boys, let's go do the dreaded MOC. I'm not looking forward to this. We're going to see how it goes. Hopefully, it goes my way. But without those three units, oh gosh, it will not be fun. Now, the first thing I notice is that the deer has a couple weaknesses I can exploit. One of them being fire and quantum. So I'm already cooking up a team for the deer. My initial thought is for sure using Jade because the deer has a lot of summons. And then we throw in Himiko, Sparkle, and then any sort of sustain, and I think we can do it. It's a bit of a copium team, but I think it has some potential. So we're gonna do Jade, Himiko, Sparkle, and then maybe Ling Sha. I mean, he has fire weakness, so it could work. First side only has physical weakness. That is really annoying. Luckily, they do have imaginary as well, though. It's kind of a secondary weakness here. Clara, I think, is just a good option no matter what. I would love to use ratio here, but I don't have him built right now. Oh boy, this is tricky. Maybe Robin adventuring Topaz and we just do the follow-up team? I think that could work. Let's see if it does. I honestly don't know. Let's see if this team can work. I honestly don't know if it will. Oh gosh, here we go. Usually I just throw Firefly in here. She breaks everything. I win. Or Fei Zhao works too. Oh, uh, but now I actually have to think about stuff. And what's that? Purple stuff. Unremovable. Triggers weakness break. When the enemy's initial weakness is reduced to zero. Oh, you can weakness break them further. Oh gosh. Okay, so basically use Firefly or Boot Hill or you lose. Great. I don't have Boot Hill and I ban Firefly. We're so screwed. Well, we're just going to try our best. Hopefully, Clara can help a little bit. I also don't have Yun Lee, which is another big debuff. And I'm going to be honest, I don't even see Topaz being useful here. Clara, can you do stuff? Thank you. Clara is honestly just going to be the most clutch unit in the world right now. Clara, go. Clara, go. Oh my gosh, Clara. Bro, that character is so nutty for just zero reason. It looks like this additional toughness bar can be broken by anything, though. That's super useful. Okay, go for Clara. It did not go for Clara. Yes, it did. And now we use Robin and we build everybody up again. Nice. Okay, I think this is still possible. We're not past turn one yet. Kill that one. Screw you. Die. Thank you. That one died. Okay, we got one. Unfortunately, this one's still at like full HP. Damn it. Aura. Nice. Nearly. There we go. Bob. Good stuff. Now the tough part. Dr. Ratio would have been super nice here. Dr. Ratio would have been so nice for Kafka. Luckily, Clara does 10% a hit. Why is this character so nuts? And she affects us. Oh my gosh, Clara. You're the goat. Holy crap. The actual living phenomenon that is Clara is just carrying us to victory. Unfortunately, we're almost on turn 28. The turn order ain't going so well for us because we only have five turns to complete both sides, I think. Yeah, we have to do it before 20 cycles. That should be possible. Clara does damage. And again. And we get that little effect. Good stuff. Clara, go again. The Godas return. Thank you, Sparog. And Kafka broken. Nice. And we're going to use our uh, revive all turn again. Robin, save us. Let's go. 38. The other one's almost dead. And it's dead. Okay, good. 18% on Kafka. We're on turn. Oh, we won. Oh my gosh. That thing did so much damage. Only turn 27. Not too shabby. 
I'm really happy with that. Now, let's see what we can get on this second side. Can we do it? Let's find out. I think this is a really solid team, to be honest. I really like this team. Obviously, you know, Lingsha isn't great in this team as a support, but she's just a universally good healer. So I'm fine, honestly, with her here. We're going to raise the damage. And wait, actually, now that I think of it, I probably should have put... We're going to return quickly. Oh, I'm such an idiot. No, oh... I thought return was to restart the battle. Oh, crap. I'm so dumb. Okay. Give me a second here. We'll be right back. Okay. We're back. I made it back. Thank goodness. So what I what I wanted to do was I had, I had a thought, and it has to do with Jade. I was thinking, because usually when I use Jade, I immediately put her support on Himiko just out of habit. But in reality, it probably is actually better to put it on Link Sha, right? Because Link Sha has multiple AoE attacks being her skill, her ultimate, and then also the bunny. Himiko only has two, being her ultimate and her skill. So with the addition of the bunny, it's probably actually better to use that on Link Sha. Interesting. I would have never thought about that if I never used these two together. Or if I just had Firefly, that probably would have also made it so I never thought about that. Oh, but I guess Himiko also has a follow-up. I forgot about that. <laughs> Himiko also has a follow-up, but I, I guess it doesn't matter. The bunny activates quite often as well, so it should be fine. Let's see. Bunny activate, boom. They honestly activate about the same. It just depends on how much we weakness break with Himiko, and then the bunny activates when we drop below 60% HP, which we won't do because we're too strong for that. Yeah, maybe I should still put it on Himiko, actually. It, it might work a little bit better on her. Regardless, we're going to blow him up. These guys have a lot of defensive capabilities, so we can't kill them too quickly. But it's chill. We'll get there. Just keep dragging them down. Oh, there goes one. Nice. But now there's only one little guy left. That's a little annoying because we're an AoE team. So when there's only one enemy, we can't really do much against it. Ah, crap. Luckily, he spawned two more. Thank you, friend. Oh, gosh. Turn 25 is coming up. Uh, that's bad. There goes Bunny. Thank you, boy. Get rid of the big guy. You didn't get... Okay. Get rid of him, please. Thank you. Okay. Turn 24. It's just the deer remaining. We have four turns to beat the thing. It has two bars of HP. This is bad. It might have a little more HP than I'm used to dealing with. And I forgot to put the Jade skill back up. Oh, shoot. I really need that skill right about now. Why am I dumb? Sparkle, help us. Thank you. We're going to put it on... Actually, I'm going to put it on Link Sha again because Himiko's angry. So, that bad. Break him! Nice. 67%. Bunnies go off. So does Himiko. Nice. And hopefully this big attack here is going to do a ton of damage. Do like a million. Yeah, buddy. Jade is now up to 8,400... 57% crit damage. My gosh. Sometimes I forget how insane Sparkle plus J crit damage is. Absolute nuts combo. Please kill him. Shoot. Kill the deer. Thank you. He's dead. Okay, good stuff. Now we're in an easy part of the battle because he spawns even more of his bushes, which actually helps us to some degree. Because the more bushes spawn, the more we attack, the more pawn assists we get the more follow-ups we get, and it all just works out. Spawn another one. Yes, sir. And another one? Yep. The more he spawns, the better. We're going to support Himiko this time. We're not going to be dumb again. Unfortunately, we are out of skill points, and we don't have a sparkle burst. That's a little bit problematic. Sparkle, thank you. We do have a burst. Let's go. Turn 22, though. We're, we're running out of time. Big break from Link Sha, who is actually probably the best character to get the break because I built her with a lot of break effect. And we got another one, 56, turn 21. Oh gosh, we're running out of time here. Um, please kill him. No. Ah, shoot. No. Oh no, that did damage. And a defense boost, 21%. Oh gosh, turn 20. No, this is bad. Bro, I can't do anything against him. He's just the immovable freaking deer. Get rid of your defense boost, you coward. There we go. Blast him. Come on. 10%. No, turn 20. Oh, shoot. What can I do? Jade, save us. She didn't save us. 
Oh, wait, the thing did it. Yes. Let's go. Turn 20. Remaining cycle. Let's go. We just did it. Oh, come on. Oh, let's go. On to floor 12. This one's going to be a lot harder. Oh my gosh. Is that Hule? No, not Hule. This, this is going to be impossible without Firefly and all those other characters, huh? Well, let, let's, let's do our best. I got to think of something here. We, we might honestly have to build a ratio or man, I don't even know. Rapa would be good here too, but she's not out yet. We honestly might just have to go the same team we used before, which is the follow-up team with Clara, Topaz, and Adventurine. I think that's just our best option. And then second side, I straight up don't even know. Fei Zhao seems obviously like the best unit here, but we banned her. So who's like another good fire DPS? Himiko? Oh my gosh. Freaking Blade maybe? Oh, this is atrocious. There's just nothing here that works other than those three characters. I mean, I guess I can try Blade. Blade is going to do nothing here, though. Blade, how's your build? You got 108 speed, some crit rate damage. I mean, you'll do your job, I guess. I'm still missing a trace for you. Oh, never mind. Well, gee, uh, I don't think I can use Blade. I'm going to be honest. I think the only viable path I see here is DOT. I see no other option. It's going to have to be Kafka, Acheron, and then Gwynythin, I guess. Oh, this is the most copium team. We're just going to have to make it work. We're going to throw Fushuan in there, and we're just going to pray. <laughs> Don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try to make it work. I don't want it to be too easy today. Let's go. Support immediately. This team should theoretically work for the first side. It's got me through a lot of this game. I don't know if it will get me through this, though, because there is just so many enemies here. It's, it's a five enemy side, which I can tell this already. This was made for Rapa. They made this specifically for Rapa. So this team is just atrociously bad here. Oh, it's so terrible. Okay, we have to reinvent our thinking. I don't, I don't think this is going to work. There's just too many enemies. And we just do nothing to them. No, crap. Stop blowing my energy. I hate you. I have to think of something else. What else can I use here? I genuinely see nothing other than Firefly and Rapa. Imbiber Lune? That's so copium, but we can try it. Imbiber Lune, Sparkle. Oh, I was just trashing on this guy in a recent video. Oh, uh, we can try it though. Maybe, maybe Robin and then Adventurine maybe? Oh, that's such a copium team. I don't think we can use Robin there. I genuinely think all things considered, Himiko's our best option there because of the amount of enemies. And then for second side, I still have no idea. All my hunt DPSs suck, but I think he is single target, but he has entanglement resistance. So I can't use someone like Sele. Topaz is a viable option here. I don't know who to put beside her though. Bro has frozen resistance, imprisonment resistance, and entanglement resistance. If I had Boot Hill here, that would work, but I don't have the character. I mean, I, I guess I can try Blade. I mean, he's not a bad character. I just don't know how he's going to work for this. We, we can try him though. My Blade's not the best, but maybe he can prove me wrong. Maybe he's the GOAT. My Blade has almost 6,000 HP and then some crit rate and damage. That's decent. He only has 777 though, and then he's missing a bonus ability oh gosh i mean it should work it's viable so we're gonna do blade topaz some sort of support i think maybe like i don't even know who to use robin's there and honestly she does seem like the best option so i'm gonna throw her in there and then for our last slot we can go you i guess Ling Sha. that seems like my best option i need some sort of sustain she's just the best one there we're gonna try it is it gonna work probably not but i just want to beat it so let's see if we can at least get like at max the two star let's try here we go the most copium team on planet earth can we make it happen Let's go, Don Hang, the goaded unit. I'm sorry for making fun of you. You're a great unit. In fact, you're actually the best unit. Thank you for the energy. Bring up Himiko again. Damn, you take damage. Why are you almost dead, Himiko? You haven't done anything. What the heck? Blow everything up. There we go. And we start breaking. Okay, nice. We have enough to do this. We can break three enemies here with Don Hang. That's nuts. 
And now we're doing... I feel like this is a lot better than last time, to be honest. Even though Dunhang is probably like the most copium unit in the whole game, debatably, he's making it work. Let's go. 150-50k. Let's go. Huge damage. Why can't I get off the freaking adventuring talent? Himiko's gonna die. Oh, no. Himiko? Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Finally, he got his freaking thing off. Well, we're already past two turns. We're on the first wave of enemies. Oh, my goodness. I might as well just speed the head of the rest of the video until we hit turn 20. And two characters are... Oh, my... <sighs> I'm happy I did this challenge. I love making the game harder for myself for no apparent reason. One dead. Thank you. Oh my gosh. We're almost past turn like... I don't even know. I think we're on turn like... 20 27 there we go please kill this enemy thank you we got past first phase that is the biggest thing ever now we have to do a lot of a lot of crap i should have recovered skill points i'm an idiot oh i had it too okay there we go we did that he does damage but we're chilling don't put me to sleep oh you little oh thank you <laughs> that worked out bring up you again oh you're already oh you're already there okay thanks buddy he's always there for me and when i need him Break this guy, and they're all broken. Nice. Maybe we'll actually get this done in time. Who knows? I don't have too much optimism, <laughs> but there is some degree of hope here. If we can get past this first part here, honestly, super break might have been a little helpful here. I don't actually know. Probably not, but we can kill all these guys. We get to the second half. Okay, good stuff. That went pretty well. There's some degree of hope. We can do this. Don't put me to sleep. Nice. We resisted it. Oh, but I can't use a sparkle E here because... Oh, crap. Okay. That's fine. We break one. Another one down? Nearly. Two down. We just need to break that one in the middle now. But we still have no skill points. Sparkle Y. Oh, nice. Oh, shoot it and break it. Turn 24. That's okay. We need to break that one in the middle. I can't use a Don Hang E again. My timing is so bad. Oh, gosh. No Himiko. I can't bring up Himiko here. Because she'll die. You need to give me more skill points. Yes. And we have enough for this. Nice. We're at 24%. I don't think we can finish it. Unless Himiko goes freaking off. Please, Himiko, do something cool. Do something cool for once in your life. No. Oh, 1%. We passed turn 23. I don't know if there's much I could have done there. 1%. We finish it. Dang. That's going to bring us to turn 23 and with the most copium team of all existence. Let's see if we can at least get a two star here. Oh, this team is so bad. This is the worst team I've ever created. The comments are at me for this one, man. But there was legitimately no other choice. Oh my gosh, she almost killed us. Go, Blade. Break him. Nice. We broke him twice. That was really cool. And we're going to raise all our turns. Cool. 63k. Damn. That was actually really impressive. Bro, Lingsham might actually just be straight up the best unit on my team. <laughs> that might actually just be the case. Please don't kill anyone. Oh, he's going for Lingsha. She's chilling. Never mind. Oh my goodness. Thank hell for the rabbits. She's dead. Good. Blade. Do like... And like neglectful damage. Oh my goodness, Blade. Link shot is straight up doing more than my Blade. Anyways, this, this, what? Oh my gosh. Bro nearly just killed me. Break him. Thank you. I've, I've just took a look at the turn order. It, it ain't looking so good for the three star boys. I'll be honest. It ain't looking too good for us. Regardless, we killed that guy. And here comes Hulei. Oh my gosh. At this point, I just want to get freaking one star. I don't even care. One star and I'll take it. Please, man. We 
We broke him. Yes. Save. He's still at 80% though. This guy has a crap load of HP. Damn. Holy crap. And he recovers so fast. His buddies are dead though. Nice. Go in blade. I haven't used this character in a decade. He, ne he keeps nearly killing Topaz. We're going to get another break here with Link Sha. Get him down to 40%. Bunnies and turn 19 is going to pass. That's going to mean no three star for us. But at this point, boys, I just want to beat it. I'll be straight up. I just want to win. I'll take a two star. I don't care. I might be coping here, but I'd... Oh my gosh. No, he's going to kill somebody. Link Sha, save us. Thank you. Turn 18 just passed. My goodness. Oh, I have 10 turns to kill this guy, and I don't even know if I can do it. Straight up. One percent. Oh my gosh, we got through first phase. Or wait, no, we didn't. What the heck? There we go. Phase two. Who like gets stronger? I get weaker. Why does he get so many turns? Oh my gosh. Stop. And stop spawning enemies. No. Oh gosh, this is bad. Oh, bunny save us. <laughs> Bro is in Omega Rage mode. He's steaming red. He's at 57%. There is hope. There is hope in this world. Bang him up. Brute force him. Ruin his life. 23%. Don't spawn more enemies. He's going to spawn more enemies. Ah. No, what's that move? Oh, what the? Fr Robin. I don't know. I didn't even know what that was. He's bro. Stop. Stop going off. There's just no need. Save us, Robin. We're on turn 15. I think we're going to do it, though. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. That took me 24 turns. We got it done. I'll take it. Two stars is not bad. That, my friends, is going to give us everything we need from MMOC, except for 80 Jades. Hey, I'm not complaining about it. Regardless, though, that's going to be the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed, and I'm going to see you all for the next MOC. And let me know any more challenges you'd like me to do in it. Regardless, thank you guys for watching. Peace.